This video is brought to you by Skillshare. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. And uh, recently I watched PewDiePie's 6 billion setup tour video on YouTube. And uh, I was quite surprised that he actually uses Rain Meter on his desktop. So right now let's hear a software part of his setup tour video. Nice. Software wise, I'll link to my background and stuff like that. I'm using Rainmaker, if you're wondering. A lot of people ask me about um, like these extensions. They're super useful. You can put a timer, which I like if I'm uh, trying to study on the computer. It's nice to put a timer on yourself or screenshots or volume, but it's right there. I really like that. I use OBS like everyone does. Cause so he actually referred to Rainmeter as a Rainmaker. And uh, he also uses this wallpaper, which is from Wallpaper Engine. And he actually told us that he will link this uh, wallpaper in his video description. But unfortunately, there isn't any, any link for that wallpaper. So in this video, I'll try to replicate his exact setup that he has here in his video. And uh, to make it easy for me, I'll actually use two reference images. So this is the right side of his desktop and this is the left side of his desktop. So first of all, I'll try to replicate the left side of his desktop setup. So if you go to the web browser here, make sure that you have Rainmeter installed or as Felix calls it, Rainmaker. And then you want to install this widget or this skin for the Rainmeter, which is called Android Pie Style Clock Rainmeter Skin. And you can get it here on DeviantArt.com and make sure that you have account for that to actually be able to get this file with clicking this arrow right here. So once you got this specific Rainmeter skin, then you will go ahead to your downloads folder. And here you have Android Pie Style Clock Rainmeter Skin. Double left click on it. And here you have the Rainmeter Skin Prompt installed and you will click right here to install. And as you can see, the widget actually showed right here on desktop. So if you want to, you can easily make this clock bigger. So if you right click on the skin, you have an option right here, variants, and you can click right here, clock big size.ini, and you will click right here to have a bigger clock on your desktop. So if I take a peek right now in, in on this image, for the reference here, as you can see, he has here Monday, February, the date and without this weather information. So to change this widget, you can go right here, right click on this specific skin. Then you will here click edit the skin and this should open the notepad for this skin. And once you are here, you can change the actual color of this uh, widget by changing these parameters right here. So I'll delete everything right here, 255, so four of them. And then I'll go to the web and here I pick this color and you can easily just copy this entry or RGB option and then you'll paste it right here into the notepad. And then you'll make sure that you save the notepad and uh, then once you save the actual settings, you will refresh the this skin. And as you can see, the actual color of the skin changed. And uh, to fix the date situation, so here it says set and mar, but we want to that it says Saturday and March. So to fix that, you will scroll down a bit. And here, once you are under the measure date option, here you will just change the format from the lower A to the bigger capital A, so big A and big B, and then you will click save and then you will click refresh the skin. As you can see, here it's a Saturday and March just as this reference image, but here we still have the Celsius logo right here. So to get rid of that, you'll scroll down a bit, just a bit more. And here you have the text equals percent one, and then you have some space right here, and then you have the percent two unit text so you will just delete this and it should set text equals percent one only this and then you will save that and click right click on the skin and then click on refresh skin and as you can see we have successfully replicated this specific skin of the rain meter or this clock so right now i'll move on to the right side of this setup 
So once you are on the web, you will go to the uh, Deviant R once again. And here you have the Omnimutan, which is the skin that Felix actually uses in his video. So make sure that you get this file as well. And uh, then you will go to the downloads folder. And uh, here you have the Omnimutan skin. Then you will double left click on it. That should open up the installer and click install to install the rain meter skin. So as you can see, the widget actually, the clock widget actually disappeared, but I'll fix that just in a minute. So here we have the welcome screen of this um, widget. So I'll click here in English to actually pick the language and you can select here apply new wallpaper I'll turn off this one and I will enable enable the light mode for this widget and here we have the metric system which is currently on but you can set it to off if you prefer for example Fahrenheit but I prefer the metric system or the Celsius then I'll click next right here and uh, here we have the welcome screen which we can just ignore and here we have default presets for this Omnimo skin so you will just click more actions or to close every single default skin right here of the Omnimotan. So here are also two widgets that are quite useful of the skin from the beginning or the default preset. So here we have this plus and here we also have this power button. And if we take a look at this power button and on the right side of the Felix setup, here you can see that this widget is present right here. So we can paste it somewhere right here or put it somewhere right here. And what this widget actually does, if you click on it, left click, you will put this computer to the sleep. Or if you right click, you have an options to shut down sleep or restart or so on these settings right here. So this widget, if we actually click on it and it will be able to add these essential panels or these panels right here to our desktop. So first of all, Felix uses the weather widget. So before we actually start placing these widgets on the desktop, if you click right here on the left top, you have an option um, alignment, alignment tools. And uh, here we can use these tools to actually organize these panels more easily. So I will click right here four by four. And then once you are clicked on that, you will go here and click on the weather. So click on the weather and place it somewhere right here. And uh, the weather looks just normal as this one right here. And then we have the screenshot tool. So if I go right here, I'll scroll down a bit. And here we have the screenshot widget and it looks a bit big. Um, compared to this reference image. So if you click on the widget, right click on it and you have here an option alternative. So if you click on that, it should change the look of this specific um, skin. So here we have the first column is done. So here we have the weather and the screenshot and then we have the media keys. So click on the media keys and here we have just it doesn't look right. So right click, click alternative, and this looks right to the re reference. And then we have the visualizer. So it's also under the media. Click on the visualizer and make it a bit smaller by clicking alternative right here and put it right here. And then we have the sound. So if I scroll up a bit and here we have the volume, click on the volume, right click on it, alternative, put it somewhere right here and it looks something like that. So we are done with the second column, but here we also have the third and the fourth column. So the third column starts with the brightness setting. So click on the brightness, put it somewhere right here, click here and click alternative. And this should be the same as the reference image. And then we have the calculator skin. So click on that one as well and place it somewhere right here. And as you can see, everything looks nice and tidy just as this reference image. And then we right now we have the last, the fourth column of this widget. So if you have this issue like me right now on the desktop, that you are to right of your desktop and you can't place any of the widgets right here. You can select right here um, CTRL plus Alt shortcut and click on the one of the skins and you, you can simply drag all of these um, skins right with together something like that and then you can easily place this ruler right here. So right now I'll start with the fourth column. So the fourth column looks like we have here recycle bin. So here we have the recycle bin. 
and right click on it, click alternative and put it somewhere right here. And then we have the control panel, click on the control panel, right click on it, alternative, once again, alternative and put it somewhere right here. And then we have the timer. So here we go to the time and date and you can select here timer and put it somewhere right here. So a timer on uh, Felix's videos actually looks like that. But if you click on the timer, for example, the one minute, it should start counting down as you can see right here. So this is the skin, how it looks like. So we can here close this alignment uh, tool. So we can close it right here. And if we go to colors and interface, we can enable the blur as well. It will look a lot nicer. So I'll enable the blur right here. And uh, you can also select here panel opacity and it should look something like this one. And the panel color, of course, we can select it to the dark. So everything would be white right here. And this is pretty much it for this specific skin. Before we continue, let's hear a quick message from today's sponsor. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of online classes that we can take to level up our careers. I've been looking at the class from Marcus Brown Lee called YouTube Success, Script Shoot and Edit with MKBHD. And uh, in this class, I was most interested in improving my script writing. I would suggest if you are interested to learn something new, to join Skillshare community and then and for example, set yourself a goal to watch a few classes and then you will see how it goes from there. If you have Skillshare Premium Membership, you will have unlimited access to all Skillshare classes and additional features such as offline viewing. So if you want to learn something new or level up your game, Skillshare is offering us one month free for the first 1000 people that use the link provided in video description down below. So I actually forgot to tell you, but here, if you go to, if you still have this plus widget right here on the desktop, you can easily right click on it click on the more actions and unload the skin and this widget are, is completely gone. So yeah, uh, right now let's start by making taskbar transparent. So as you can see, Felix actually uses Windows 10 still, but I here use Windows 11. So this should actually work for the Windows 11 as well as for the 10. So if you are, for example, on Windows 11, then you'll go here to the rain meter or to the your web browser. And we will use the program called start all back to actually make our taskbar transparent as well as put it on the right side because unfortunately Windows 11 doesn't allow you to do that anymore. And it only allows taskbar to be placed at the bottom. So make sure that you grab this installer from the web, from the start all back. And this program will also allow you to make the taskbar actually transparent. So I'll click right here, install for everyone. And uh, as you can see, the taskbar looks pretty nice right now. So if you right click uh, as well as on your Windows 10 machine, right click on your taskbar here, uncheck lock the taskbar and put it on the right. And as you can see, the taskbar is right now on the right. And if you once again, right click on it, click the lock the taskbar and this should lock the taskbar right here on the right. And once again, if you go to the properties on the taskbar uh, section of this specific program, then you have this um, dynamic transparency button, which will make this taskbar transparent. So you can use this option as well to make it as this reference image right here. As you can see, it looks quite transparent. Once again, on the left, we don't have this widget, which actually disappeared, unfortunately. So if you open up the rain meter once again, and then you will go here to the simple clock and you will click right here, clock, big size, any double left click on it and you should be good to go with a specific uh, skin. So close the manage right meter and then you will go back to the web browser. And here we will just change our wallpaper uh, with the one that Felix uses. So I highly recommend that you actually buy wallpaper engine. It's only four euros. And I think it's a great value for this specific program of what actually does. So this program uh, is available on Steam. Make sure that you have Steam installed and that did you buy the actual wallpaper engine. And once you got the wallpaper engine up and running, 
then you will go ahead here to the workshop where is the place you can or the actual marketplace where you can download live wallpapers and then you will go to the workshop and you will here search for the Cloudly. And then you can also here show only and se select here approved. As you can see, this is the wallpaper that Felix actually uses. If you click on it and as you can see, the wallpaper successfully changed. And this is how it looks the setup right now. I think it looks pretty nice. So if you want to, you can also hide the recycle bin by right clicking on the desktop, go to the view and show desktop icons. But unfortunately, these icons right here aren't visible enough. So if you go to the Windows settings and you can change the color palette of the windows to the dark mode. So these icons would be actually uh, in white. So here in the colors, you will here choose the mode. You will click custom right here and uh, choose your uh, default windows mode. You can select to the dark and this should fix this issue. Uh, and as you can see the desktop looks like this uh, reference images and uh, yeah this is pretty much it for this specific tutorial thank you for watching and if you haven't already make sure that you smash that like button for the youtube algorithm as well as smash that subscribe button to join the family have a wonderful rest of your day and i'll see you all in the next video peace